On March 2nd, we were uh, in our central office, superintendent's office in Sellersburg, and I was uh, helping watch, monitor all the different channels, seeing what the weather was doing. It was a day filled with a lot of anxiety and fear. We knew from the night before through the media that there was a potential for severe weather. Um, I took a late lunch that day about 1.30 and the sun was shining. It was clear, there was nothing. Getting near uh, dismissal time, which was approximately three o'clock in the afternoon, uh, uh, tornado uh, warning had not hit yet. Uh, we felt like that we could uh, uh, get the students home. And I was told I had about a half hour window, but it looked like it was gonna be a direct hit. Uh, so we dispersed the buses. Uh, unfortunately, it got here earlier than, uh, uh, than we thought it would. A lot of the children were delivered. Some of the children were uh, uh, actually spent time in basements along the bus routes and things like that. A uh, few drivers brought uh, children back here to school. About 3.13, bus 211 pulled in with 11 children and a bus driver. And um, I just happened to be outside. And uh, Mr. Bledsoe from across the road yells, it's here. The day after when I arrived uh, on the campus at Henryville, I decided I was going to try to see if uh, we had a, a surveillance server on campus. I wanted to see if we had, um, were able to get any video of the, the school, and we did. And my exact words were, we've got something here. When I first saw the videos that were coming across the TV, I could only think of just how many kids were hurt. Uh, God forbid did anybody lose their life. It, it really looked bad. We still marvel at the destruction that occurred and yet not, not one child was hurt. Having that video footage of the actual building being destroyed uh, was amazing from the standpoint of you got to see in detail what uh, wind like this, a uh, weather event like this actually does to a physical structure. The surveillance system can be used for much more than se in security and what we used it for here at Henryville was um, there were questions that were brought up during the re reconstruction of whether uh, a cabinet was here or if there was a, a door there or whatever and we were able to pull up those videos and be able to say look this was here, that was there. We have uh, three school safety specialists at West Clark. All three of us have gone through extensive training for uh, school safety. When we sat down and started to look at the captured video, we had a lot of very valuable lessons that we, we took from what we saw in that video. We have shared that with a multitude of agencies across the state. We shared it with the State Department of Education. We, uh, in fact, presented at the last School Safety Specialist Academy in Indianapolis, and we've also shared it with a variety of public agencies involving uh, transportation to law enforcement. We'd already been working with the company ECT Services out of Louisville, Kentucky, so they were, they were recontracted for the, re the rebuild, and um, Axis was uh, gracious enough to donate the cameras back to the corporation and um, ECT services worked alongside with AXIS to make sure that all these surveillance cameras were reinstalled. From an integration and a security integrator perspective, I was always impressed by AXIS as a manufacturer and as a company. Um, it seems like they really care about their product. They really take uh, the advice and the uh, opinions of integrators. They take it to heart. We uh, saw a, uh, a P3344 VE camera piling a bunch of rubble and we went over and picked it up and, and uh, took it back to our office and fired it up and it worked. It was one of those cameras that was about 60, 50 or 60 feet in the air and was tied into a brick wall. And that whole brick wall was destroyed and it just smashed all into it. And uh, you know, it, with it being a VE, it's a vandal resistant camera. The lens and everything was still intact. Of course it was scratched, but it was still intact. Going with an IP video system, it's absolutely more scalable. You, you have the ability to 
plug a camera into an Ethernet port anywhere in a school district and you're up and live in a matter of minutes rather than having to run a, a coax cable to a point and running 12 volts to allow the camera to be powered up. IP Configure already worked with Axis, so we brought the software in under a demo. Very easy to use, uh, integrated uh, seamlessly with our Active Directory already that we already had in place, and uh, we were up and running in a matter of three days. All of the companies working together to get the school back up and running has been amazing. Everybody just really pulled together to get it done. The destruction of this tornado has had uh, some positive impact on the community in that it has demonstrated the generosity and the caring of people in general, um, not only within the community but from, from outside. People from all over the country, it's just amazing uh, how giving they've been to this school community. I heard that they had over, have had over 10,000 volunteers to come help in the homes which is just a huge outreach from outside communities. We have vendors stepping up with uh, supplies for the children, with equipment, just stepping up and saying, hey, we want to help. It's brought back some hope where hope may not have been before. It has really helped instill uh, that kind of behavior in this community as, as a value. And I think that will have long-lasting, tremendous impact on our children.